I've got a lot going on today. Among other things, I was setting up this car so that I could control it via Bluetooth with my Windows phone. So I just got that working and right now I've got the steering disconnected but I do have it connected to the motors. So the car itself is wired to a uh, Nutduino. And yes, my wiring's a bit messy here. I need to clean that up. And I'll be able to control it with the Windows phone. Now the Nutduino is a uh, .NET Micro Framework based board. It's very similar to the Arduino as far as the pinout goes. It's compatible with a lot of the same accessories, but you can program with it using C Sharp instead of using C. And uh, it comes in a variety of form factors. This is the Nutduino uh, Plus 2. There's also the Nutduino Micro, which is pin compatible with the basic stamp. And then there's also micro framework boards from other vendors, such as this is one from GHI Electronics. So let me go ahead and get this started. I'm going to reset it just to be safe. And I went ahead and tied an LCD display to this just so that I could see what's going on. So I'll start, yeah, I'll wait for it to start up. Now, unfortunately, the documentation on this car does not seem to be quite right. It says that it uses a 2 kilohertz sig signal. When I tried to use that, nothing happened. So I ended up just tapping two wires into one of the servos to uh, listen on the frequency of the signal. And it doesn't sound like 2 kilohertz. It sounds more like somewhere around the neighborhood of 130. So I tried that and it worked. So I'm starting up this application and uh, the application itself right now doesn't do much. It's just enough to let me send signals to the car. So it's starting off in zero position. So okay. you see the car taking off. And so it seems to be, there seems to be a range at which the motors are working at which they don't work. Oh, and you probably couldn't hear me over the noise, but it, there seems to be a range at which it will accept signals, and if they go outside of that range, then it just plain doesn't do anything. So that's something that I still have to, uh, like, figure out. So I'm still playing with this, and hopefully I'll get this. Hopefully I'll get it working reliably pretty soon.